Hello and welcome. Yesterday I met data on GBB and the ZEW Research Institute's Economic Sentiment Index in the Euro area. The European currency tried to rise above the important level of 1.1297. However, its attempt turned out to be unsuccessful. Mixed statistical and economic sentiment from Germany and the Euro area signaled the deteriorating situation, which exerted slight downward pressure on the Euro in the first half of the day. Upbeat data on US trade balance released later showed that the trade deficit narrowed, indicating that the US economic recovery its possible growth in the fourth quarter. This supported the greenback in the second part of the day. However, Burrs failed to break below the support level of 1.1238. Thus, a false breakout at this level created a strong buy signal, which led to an upward correction in the euro. As for today's fundamental factors, ECB President Christine Lagarde and other ECB members are set to speak, notably European Central Bank policymaker and Eastern National Bank Governor Robert Holtzman said that interest rates could be increased while net purchases are still in progress. Of course, this announcement had no impact on the euro's dynamics. However, if statements of other ECB members turn out to be hawkish as well, demand for the euro will most likely increase. Moreover, concerns around the epidemiological situation eased, that is why the restriction imposed by some European countries could be lifted earlier than planned. The macroeconomic calendar for the second part of the day is bereft of any important releases from the United States. Therefore, the euro-dollar pair's further direction will depend on bulls' activity around the level of 1.1297. If the price consolidates above this area, the volume of long position will increase. In this case, the euro will most likely recover to 1.1325 and then probably 1.1356. From this level, it will be possible to open short position with a few to catch an intraday correction of 1520 pips. If bears are able to protect the 1.1297 mark, the quotes may will enter a downward correction towards 1.1268 and 1.1234. Long position can be considered from the level of 1.1268 only amid a false breakout or from 1.1238 on the rebound. In the event of the stronger euro, traders will be able to open short positions from 1.1325 amid a false breakout counting on the intraday correction of 1520 pips and return to the level of 1.1297. Speaking of the British currency, the pound sterling is stuck in a sideways channel is drifting near monthly lows. Bears are still still taking the lead. Today they will aim to regain control over 1.3245, the middle of the channel. If the price fixes below this level, a sell signal will appear. In this case, the quotes will mostly like head for the level of 1.3210 break through it and then slide to 1.3154 and then 1.3111. From these levels it will be possible to go long on the rebound with a few catching and a neutral correction of 52.13 pips. If bulls are able to protect 1.3245, a false breaker will create a strong buy signal. In this situation the pound sterling is expected to advance to 1.3283, the upper level of the sideways channel. If the price breaks through the consolidates above this level, the volume of long position will increase further and the British pound is likely to return to 1.3329. From this level I recommend opening short position on a rebound, counting on the intraday correction of 20-25 pips. Well, that is it, good luck to everyone, if you had any questions please post them in the comments below, goodbye.